Hello, I'm Bill Robinson, Technical Director at B&G Equipment Company. The B&G sprayer is one of the most important tools for the pest control professional, and if cleaned and maintained properly, it will give you years of service. Let's start by reviewing the key parts of the B&G sprayer. The tank is made of high-grade stainless steel and is nearly indestructible. The hose is made of two layers of chemically resistant rubber, and like the tank, is nearly indestructible. But it also needs to be cleaned regularly to prevent the buildup of insecticide residue. The pump mechanism is made of high-grade brass and has a chemically resistant check valve. The valve, extension, and nozzle are made of brass, stainless, and Viton components. The first step in keeping your sprayer working at peak performance is to keep it clean. Foreign material and insecticide residue will lead to both losses in productivity and poor performance. To help with regular cleaning, B&G offers a cleaning kit. The contents of the kit are a long-handled brush for cleaning the tank, a small brush for cleaning the nozzle and pump tube, and a cleaning concentrate that is safe to use when cleaning your B&G sprayer. Before we start, a word of caution about cleaning solutions. Do not use bleach or chlorine-based products when cleaning your sprayer. This type of chemical will corrode the stainless tank and eventually leaks will occur. The best cleaning solution to use is provided in the B&G cleaning kit. To begin the process of cleaning your sprayer, first you want to mix a small amount of cleaning concentrate and warm water in a container. Add enough of the concentrate to create a good soapy mixture. A half gallon of this mixed solution should be plenty. The first step is to clean the inside of the tank. This will remove the insecticide residue that can build up over time. Put about one quarter of the soapy solution you just created directly into the tank and rotate and shake so the solution covers the interior. Use the long-handled nylon brush that is included in your cleaning kit so it can reach the bottom of the tank. Now scrub and clean your tank thoroughly, occasionally dipping your brush into the remaining solution in the bottom of the tank. The brush will remove insecticide residue that accumulates in your tank. When finished, rinse thoroughly with fresh water. The next step is to clean the outside and bottom of the pump tube. This will remove insecticide residue, especially at the bottom of the pump tube around the check valve. Use a small nylon brush to clean the bottom of the pump tube. Never use a metal brush because it will damage the small holes in the bottom of the pump tube and will prevent the check valve from sealing properly. Dip your cleaning brush in the remaining soapy solution and thoroughly scrub the outside of your pump tube, paying special attention to the area by the check valve. When finished, rinse with fresh water. When you replace the old check valve or get a new one from the repair kit, make certain that it is inserted completely into the pump tube. Stroke the handle several times to make sure it works properly. Now we're ready to clean the valve, extension, and nozzle. Remove the spray tip from the front of your valve and place it in the soapy solution. Take the small nylon brush contained in your cleaning kit and scrub thoroughly. Make sure you clean both the front and the back of the tip. Rinse with fresh water. Never use a metal brush or object to clean the nozzle. This will damage the nozzle orifice that can cause a distorted spray pattern and lead to over-application of insecticide. Carefully remove the strainer. Place in the solution and then clean it with a small nylon brush. Again, never use a metal brush. Rinse with fresh water. Now reconnect your hose to the valve without the strainer. Put the remainder of your cleaning solution in the tank, insert the pump unit, and slightly pressurize, about 10 strokes. Then open the valve to allow the cleaning fluid to go through the valve. This will clean the insecticide residue in the valve and the extension. Continue spraying the solution until there is none remaining in your tank. Add fresh water to the tank and repeat this process to clean out any remaining solution. Now reinstall your strainer and spray tip and you're ready to go. Remember, your B&G sprayer will give you many years of dependable service if you give it a regular cleaning. To help with routine maintenance, B&G has developed a special repair kit, the GD-124, that contains gaskets, washers, check valve, and grease. These kits are available from your distributor. Every six months, you should perform these maintenance procedures to keep your sprayer working properly. Inspect the gasket at the top of the pump tube. If it's cracked, damaged, or swollen, it must be replaced. Depending on what you might use in your sprayer, there could be a chemical attack of this gasket, which would cause it to swell. While not common with most insecticides, other chemicals could cause this to occur. If this gasket swells due to chemical attack, it could lead to personal injury, especially in older sprayers. The easiest way to check for this condition is to see how many turns it takes to tighten the pump unit to the tank. If it takes less than two and a half full turns, then this gasket needs to be replaced. Then inspect the check valve at the bottom of the pump tube. It's a good idea to replace this every year and clean the bottom of the pump tube at the same time. Use your thumb to press in the new check valve. Make sure it is fully seated. Next, pull out the pump rod and add more grease to the plunger cup if it is necessary. 
If you find the grease residue inside the pump tube has become hardened, clean this residue off before adding new grease. To accomplish this, use the cleaning concentrate and long brush contained in your cleaning kit. This situation is common after many years of service. Check the gasket in the base of the hose, where it connects to the tank. This gasket can become crushed and will restrict flow. It is easy to replace and there is one located in the repair kit. There is a nylon gasket at the top end of the hose and on occasion this will need to be replaced. This seals the hose to the valve. When this gasket needs replacement, there is one in the repair kit. It's the thinnest gasket in the kit. Let's move to the nozzle and check the small o-ring that fits behind the crack and crevice straw. The nozzle will leak if this o-ring is damaged or missing, and there is one included in the repair kit. It's a good idea when rebuilding your sprayer to change out all these gaskets and o-rings. This will prevent future problems. The most important part of your sprayer is the nozzle tip. This controls the flow and distribution of liquid to the surface you are spraying. If the nozzle is more than two years old, you should replace it. It may look okay, but over time and with regular use, the orifice will wear and increase in size. That will cause you to over-apply insecticide and be in violation of labeling requirements. You may not notice any change in the spray, but the amount of liquid you're applying can increase 10 to 15 percent per year based on nozzle wear. If you are using wettable powders, you should replace a nozzle every year. These formulations can quickly wear a brass nozzle. At the cost of modern insecticides, this could be costing you real money. Finally, let's look at the valve. The Teflon packing inside the extended band valve will provide a long service life. However, this may need replacement after four or five years of regular use. When the time comes to repair the valve, we have a step-by-step -step repair manual that will guide you, and most of the parts can be found in the repair kit. Remember, maintaining your sprayer will give you many years of dependable service. There are genuine replacement parts available for your sprayer. Always make sure to use genuine B&G replacement parts, which are found in packaging with B&G clearly marked on it. Use of non-B&G parts will adversely affect the performance and life of your sprayer. In addition to properly maintaining your sprayer, B&G has a full line of accessories to help enhance its performance. The comfort handle has a soft rubber grip that can make carrying and pumping the sprayer easier. Stainless steel extensions can replace the standard brass extension. These can be especially useful if you're using wettable powder formulations. We have a quick connection for the junction of the hose and the valve. It makes it easy to remove and reconnect the valve. This is useful in regions where below freezing temperatures in winter can be a problem. The service technician can simply remove the valve and take it inside at the end of the day. This quick connect can also be used for quick change out of the valve. For example, you may want to use an 18 or 24 inch extension for perimeter treatments and then switch to a 9 inch extension for indoor treatments.